Martin Cooper speaking. Hello, Mr. Cooper. The man who performed the first cell phone call back in April 3rd, 1973. Well, that's right. Uh, this is Baram Sadegi from Amsterdam. Is it this good moment for you to take us back to that special historic day? Well, Baram, I was staying with my team at the Hilton Hotel, 6th Avenue in New York City. Actually, I was supposed to be on the CBS Morning News to reveal our revolutionary phone in their studios. But then my PR colleague called and she said, we've been bumped from the morning news. But she says, I have managed to get you on a local radio station. Good morning. The time now is 12.56 in local news. I told her to ask the reporter of that local station to meet me outside the hotel so the reporter could get a sense of what it was like to communicate on the move, to experience the freedom of mobile communications firsthand. A few hours later, I walked with the reporter on 6th Avenue between 55 and 56th Street, describing the features of the phone. I was working at that time for Motorola. I hadn't thought about who to call, so I reached in my back pocket, pulled out my phone book, and I looked up the number for Dr. Joel Engel, who was my enemy, actually. He really was my counterpart, who was developing cellular technology for the Bell system. And then what happened? The phone sent the radio signal to an antenna on the roof of the Alliance Capitol building, which was called the Burlington building at that time, uh, and from there into the wired network. Amazingly, Joel, not his secretary, picked up. Hi, Joel. It's Marty Cooper. Hi, Marty, he said, a bit hesitantly. Joel, I'm calling you on a cell phone, but a real cell phone, a personal, portable, handheld cell phone. There was silence at the other end. I suspect he was gritting his teeth. I don't recall his response other than he was polite. But to this day, Joel says he doesn't recall that phone call, although he doesn't dispute that it happened. I guess I don't blame him, but the rest is history. How come from all the smart people who were engaged in the field of telephones, pages, communication, etc., you, you, came up with the idea of a cell phone? Well, Baram, uh, part of it was luck, but I've always been an imaginative person, a dreamer. As a child, I dreamed about living undersea, about building deep space rocket ships, about creating a transcontinental tunnel uh, using magnetic levitation to power through trains through a vacuum. <laughs> So what do you think is the biggest impact of the cell phone on society right now or maybe in the next future? It gives people the freedom to be anywhere and to talk to anyone. Mobile, in the sense there were no strings attached, cordless, freedom. And I guess somewhere you said uh, we people need each other and if you cannot sit next to one another, a phone call is the next best thing. Am I right? You bet. Hello, and thank you for calling us. Wired phones call a place. Think about that. A location. A mobile phone calls a person. One more thing, as Lieutenant Colombo used to say. One more thing. When you made that very first cell phone call in one of the busiest parts of Manhattan, could you walk and talk 
in a cell phone at the same time without causing any accident? Well, it was very interesting that you mentioned that because you're right. The people that were watching us were astounded. You know, New Yorkers are normally uh, people who don't even look at each other when they walk. And here they are. They've got a guy who's standing there making a phone call with no wires. There were no such phones in existence then, no cordless phones. But the other thing that happened was I was so focused on demonstrating this phone that I stepped into the street uh, and the reporter pulled me back onto the sidewalk. And this is the first time in history that somebody was saved talking on a cell phone from being hit by a New York City taxi cab. Oh my God, that was the first time, but I can say I'm afraid it was not the last time. <laughs> You're exactly right. I... Okay, Mr. Cooper, thank you so much for this conversation and giving us the next best thing. Thank you, Param. I hope that's all useful to you.